Hilda Kate Leshack, the nine-year-old reporter who received backlash after breaking the news of a suspected murder near her home in Pennsylvania, has fired back at her critics. So Hilda is a uh, nine-year-old reporter based in Sullins Grove, Pennsylvania, and she started a community newspaper called the Orange Street News. She uh, is the, the daughter of Matthew Leshack, who is a former reporter for the New York Daily News, so she sort of uh, followed in his footsteps. And the Orange Street News initially was covering just minor neighborhood occurrences, the you know rabid skunks here, some vandalism there. But then she later got a tip about something fishy going on at a uh, location near her home. And she went to the scene of the crime and asked neighbors about uh, what was going on. We actually have video of that. Let's let's take a quick look. Hi, Hilda Kate Lushak here, reporting from the Orange Street News on the 600 block, where a man suspectedly murdered his wife with a hammer. I'm working hard on this ongoing investigation. Right, okay, so you have this adorable little girl. She is clearly taking her job quite seriously and um, happened to get a tip about something that was a little bit more sinister than just rabid skunks. Right. Um, however, she later received a lot of somewhat nasty messages from people who, who weren't happy about the idea of a nine-year-old co covering such things. Uh, something like, you know, nine-year-old girls should be playing with dolls, not trying to be reporters. I'm disgusted that this cute little girl's trying to be a journalist. Whatever happened to tea parties, which already I think, like whether or not you think that a nine-year-old is emotionally or intellectually sophisticated enough to deal with a homicide case, it's like, what's with this gender, th you know, it's already like, you should be having tea parties, lady. I mean, what do you think? Well, she's getting some views. Yeah. If she's, you know, if if she's if she's getting the trolling comments, she's she's certainly getting some views. And unfortunately, that's the way of the internet. That's the mm -hmm. way of YouTube, and we know it only too well here. Exactly. The, the, the trolling community is a very real and vibrant part of YouTube. I'm just staggered that people have sufficient time in their day to troll right. a nine-year-old girl. Yeah. You know, I mean, some of the comments were, uh, you know, highly offensive, using very very strong language. Some guys, you know, why you're nine years old. I'm, I'm going to edit out the bleepy bits, but you know, you're nine years old. I would count it. You're probably yeah. you're 49 years yeah. old. Take your hands out of your pants. Take your <laughs> other hand off the freaking Doritos and just get a life. Yeah, you're like I you're mean, really... leave the nine-year-old alone. You're really she's just trying to have. You know, this is this is the modern world. This is how you know kids today express themselves and explore. They're all taught computer, you know, coding at school, computer science, all those types of things, just part of the curriculum, right? Well, so they, and, and it's part of the, how kids explore and create, and that's just part of the modern world. I do not get these types of trolls. Certain trolls, I kind of get it. It is what they do. They're in their basement, they're tapping away. Yeah. But I mean, some of those comments that you showed like, me earlier on before we went on Typing expletives to a nine-year-old, like, what the bleep is wrong with you, I mean, nine-year-old? Have they themselves, I'm wondering if they've actually committed, that's a criminal offense. Right. I don't know whether that's actually a criminal, potentially a criminal offense, or some Question. kind of verbal assault well, on a minor what's cool in such is, an aggressive, unpleasant fashion. What's cool is she, she videoed, uh, or she taped herself uh, reading some of those nasty comments and even saying those curse words, and she kind of looks at the camera like, mm, okay. But what I find interesting is the fact that, okay, so she's nine, but she wants to be a journalist, right? Why can't you start training to be a journalist at nine years old? It's not like she went out of her way to fabricate the story of a guy killing his wife with a hammer. It happened near her house and she just went to the scene of the crime. I don't know why people are so upset. However, I'm, I'm very pleased that she took to her YouTube channel and as I said, she fired back at her critics. She had this to say. She says, I know this makes some of you uncomfortable and I know some of you just want me to sit down and be quiet because I'm nine, but if you want me to stop covering news, then you get off your computer and do something about the news. There, is that cute enough for you? To which right. I say, mic drop. I just think that's amazing. I love that she, you know, nine years old, she could easily be deterred or, you know, be made sure. to feel very insecure. But I think her father, who, you know, used to be a reporter, is probably there giving her, uh, you know, the confidence that she needs to, to go forth. Yeah, listen, and it's slightly disconcerting to see a nine year old girl standing outside a, a house where it's all taped up with police tape and saying, this is the murder scene and yeah. we're going to go. I mean, did she actually go door to door and ask yeah. people whether she'd seen she any, asked neighbors. Seen anything? She asked neighbors, and uh, a lot of them couldn't give any further comment. She was asking people, she knows she's asking the questions, and which is where it, in it starts. Legitimate fashion. That's right. She wasn't playing at it, yeah. she was doing it. And, and look, look, you, you touched on it with regards to just what the internet has done for journalism, right? You don't have to be, you know, a trained person pundit and you know with journalism masters in order to ask questions and to find things out i'm a comedian and i'm learning how to be a journalist too so in some ways i identify with her in that way <laughs> but i'm glad that she fired back at her critics uh and honestly if you want to hear what happened with the suspected murder i suggest you check out the orange street news